All right, guys, so same shirt, different video. Uh, this time around, we are going to be putting on all the brake kit. My front Brembo's, rear Brembo's. I had to get those spacers, so they showed up. Uh, got the, this is made by Fast FastWX, um, but this is to be able to mount the rear Brembo's onto the car. Uh, the front should bolt up fine. I've got the DBA 4000 um, rotors for the front and the rear. These are KNS uh, DBA. So it has the inner diameter for the WRX or 2005 Legacy DT. Any of those years, uh, it matches up with the e-brakes. So you don't have to run a STI e-brake. And then while I'm in there, I'm just gonna replace the uh, the e-brake shoes because they've got like 225,000 miles on them. And we should probably do that. This pink looks weird. Dude, my white balance is off. Like my personal white balance, that looks pink to me. This? This looks pink. That? Oh, from working with the yellow so Yeah, staring at the uh, yellow, that now looks pink. Being honest, after looking at the yellow for a little bit, that does kind of look pink. Like it looks red in my camera, but not to my eye. Yeah, to your eye, it looks fucking pink, right? Yeah. This is really fucking yellow. Woo! You know, this is the first like actual color. What the? What is that? Ah! Ah! Murder ah! hornet! What was that? It's a murder hornet. I don't know. That was a big something. Do they like the yellow? No, fuck. You're gonna get yellow jackets all over your car. They're gonna be like one of us. No. Ah! What's up, Jer? What's up? You wanna see? Come here. You wanna see what we're doing? You gonna help me take out brakes? Let me take out brakes. Yeah. You good boy? You good boy? What is this? What is this? What are we doing? What are we doing? Hi. Can you help dad take out brakes? I gotta... I gotta loosen stuff. Can I hit this with a mallet? Can you grab me the mallet? Can I grab me the mallet? It's like over there, it's over by Tanner. You're really good at helping. <laughs> yeah. I've had a spider living in my shit. A spider living in my e-brick. That's fucking cool. You gotta take these off, so you either drill out the pinches and be able to take it off like that just by drilling you know, the little spots on here, or you can cut around this outer edge. Um, I'm just going to drill out the spots, take it off that way. But yeah, I can go get some food. I'll be back. Redoing this e-brake stuff. Uh, it's always good because every e-brake assembly is kind of similar, but in some way different. <clears throat> um, I just like to take a picture of this from like every angle I can. So I know exactly where each of these go. I'm going to put it back together. Yeah, because e-brakes, I don't care who you are, e-brakes suck. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to uh, put this back together the same order I take it apart. I've got it set up down here. I've got it all arranged the way that it came off. Um, so I shouldn't have to reference the pictures I took, but it's always good to and take pictures of it so you can reference it if you forget. Uh, I've got the new brake shoes over here. I'm gonna get that all put together and I'm gonna find a way to get this off because it's got a little a horseshoe clip and it's a pain in the ass. So yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna spray all this because I want to clean off this entire hub. That way the new brakes and everything are going to sit flat. Make sure 
try and get all the dress and stuff off. So I want to make sure all the e-brake assembly components are in proper working order. And I need to get each one of these drilled out to be able to release this backside backing plate. So trying to highlight all this. Cool. There's that. I honestly, I don't remember where I left off on this, but uh, I got both of the other sides done, the front and the rear. I'm gonna actually go through because I was trying to find a red up or anything on this and I didn't really see one. So I was gonna make it a little more of a how to at this point. Um, I'm gonna get the front disassembled. Uh, that one is pretty easy. It's like direct bolt up essentially. Uh, the rear requires a lot of work, especially if you have the aluminum spec B rear trailing arms like I do. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly where to kind of file down and correct to clearance for that rear caliper. So these are uh, the bolts that hold on the original caliper brackets. You don't have to worry about they're They're going to be a different uh, size that thread into here on the Brembo's. So you want to actually get um, the correct ones that uh, go into the Brembo's. So don't worry about like trying to make sure you keep these or anything, you're not going to use them. With having new rotors, new wheels, all that, I've got this big rust build up around just the, uh, the center spot of the hub. So just like before, I just want to clean that up and spray it down with some shit, break down any of that rust and scrub it all around. So that way we'll have kind of a flat surface that's not gonna grip the new rotor and not let it seat perfectly flat against this. And they're probably gonna be a little bit of a bitch to get on there. You're probably like, why the fuck did I put this on backwards? Well, I didn't. I'm actually, uh, <clears throat> any rotors or clutches or anything you get, they're gonna have um, oil on them to keep them from having any issues in shipping or uh, rusting prematurely, anything like that. Um, so you always just wanna brake clean them off before actually installing them. Now on the fronts, you're not gonna run into issues too much with the, uh, the backing plate. If you do, you can just bend it back slightly. There's not really anything you have to clearance for on these fronts. They're just gonna kind of bolt up the way they should. So, these ones are cool because they're actually, um, they've got the pattern for both 5x100 and 5x114. Uh, so, this is kind of a new way they made these rotors to work with the uh, any year STI, including 04. So, um, works out for that. Uh, again, with all these parts, I got them all from Fast WRX or Mach 5 Motorsports, whatever the hell their other name is. But uh, I'll link all that, all that stuff below, that way you can see it. So, I'm gonna grab some lug nuts, just make sure this thing's sitting flat, and then I'll grab the rotor and go about actually putting this on. face take this off the tripod make sure it's focused close 
That's pretty fucking close. There's no way I'm gonna get this in here. So I am trying to look down at where this mounting bolt is because I didn't have the hardware, so I had to get hardware. So I'm just trying to make sure that that doesn't poke out the other side and hit the back face of this rotor. So it looks like we're good on both sides. I'm gonna get this tightened down. And then we're gonna get this guy, which I'm definitely not focused on. Then I'm gonna plug the, uh, the feed line for brake fluid back into the back of this. And then that is a front Brembo um, caliper swap. Super simple, straight bolt up. And then I'll show you the god awful tragedy that is the rear Brembo swap. Uh, at least if you have spec B rear trailing arms which uh, I have no idea if it's any easier without them because I didn't try this beforehand, but I can tell you it is a bitch and a half once you have them. So for the rears, you just take out the bottom bolt for the caliper itself, it's just a 14, pull it up, like the front, slide it out. Slide pin comes out. You'll get your brake pads out of there. You're gonna have, these are super dumb. Um, again, I, I can't speak for the normal trailing arms on these that aren't these aluminum spec B versions, but uh, you gotta go through the backside and there's like holes cut in them. So you just need the longest extension ever to reach that shit. If you got the kit I got from Fast WX made by KNS, don't have to save any of these. Comes with its own hardware. So you are good on that. Oh, and I forgot a big fucking annoying thing on this. I got new e-brake stuff. So. Yeah, I'll worry about that, and you're probably not doing that. And I think I already showed you on the other side how to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna knock that out real quick. I'll get this off, and then I'll knock out swapping over e-brake stuff. And I will meet you back in however long that takes me. You sound so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I totally forgot about that. Okay, yep, I'll see you with new e-brake components on. Sweet! So we're gonna have a couple of different areas. I'm gonna have an issue right here on this corner piece right there. I'm also gonna have an issue down on this piece right here where it jets out a little. Um, so if you can see that, that little piece there, that looks like it's machined flat. I'm gonna have to take and flatten that. And then I'm gonna have to take and make this much less pronounced um, and bring it pretty much all the way in off this edge to flatten it out. I'll start by loosening this bracket up a little so I can actually slide it over to where that bolt hole should be. Then wherever the hell I put my Sharpie, you come in here and mark. So that is going to be dead set where I need to clearance this. We're gonna take it all the way in and give it some room. So, yeah. And on the bottom, if I'm actually flush with it, I'm hitting it right on this corner. I'm gonna have to take that in pretty much all the way across right there. This whole corner has gotta go. And right there, it's got to go. And that's how I do this, because otherwise you're going to be sitting there with a Dremel accessory for like five hours, like I already have done. And it's going to suck. Uh, 
may have no idea when that stopped recording, but <clears throat> so far. I've gone and I've taken this in a decent amount all the way around just by kind of walking drill bits around it, trying to get it the proper depth and everything to where when I slide this up, I can see I'm actually getting through to that uh, right where I need it to be. It's no longer hitting on the bottom side, so that's all good. I'm going to still clean it up with a Dremel just to make sure that it lines up okay. You call your boss and you're like, you're like, ah, hey, I'm not gonna make it into work. Ah, ah, I had to get some teeth pulled. Ah. Matt, what world would you ever call your dentist or your boss under those circumstances? I don't know. You could though, for the small price of 129 to 350 dollars. You can call your boss and pretend you're getting 15 teeth drilled at the same time. Can you call your boss and do that? Probably not, because he'd know I was lying. But hey. Is that a bad thing? This is advice you're getting on the internet. Remember that. So we're solid. It all clears. There you go. That part right there, you gotta take that down. This part right here, you gotta take it in a lot. A lot. It's gotta fit one of these bolts with the Allen head, hex head, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So that all has to sit in there. So I still have a good amount of material on the other side. I'm not worried about it. I've still got the whole back area. This is about the least amount of material you can take away from right here. And the best way to do it, like I said, is lining up this bracket first, putting this over, finding out exactly where it's hitting and marking with a Sharpie exactly where you need that to go. Uh, then back to if you have the standard Legacy and Outback trailing arms, I think they have less material here because they're not made of aluminum. So I don't think you have to worry about doing a whole lot with this, if any of this at all. Um, you may just have to get rid of a little bit right here for this part of the bracket. Hi right, guys. So I got the Brembo caliper on the KNS bracket. So just uses these guys. They're to 35 foot pounds. Um, these are gonna go to 35 foot pounds as well. Uh, just these guys here. So I'll get that slid in, and then I have to use their supplied bolts, which have that same uh, same um, hex head on there. And going in from the back, I'll just get that tightened, uh, make sure final clearance and everything's good on there, and then we'll get it torqued down. I want to properly torque it, but I can't. My ratchet. It's too long. Oh, don't do that. Okay. Ta da! What? Dude, doors are done. One huh. more door handle. Brakes can be dumb sometimes. Fucking vinyl that. Woo! Okay! There you go. They're all bolted up. I gotta put this guy on. I really should have checked these. Okay, what the fuck? Hi right, guys, so different day. Um, wound up running into an issue on the driver's rear. Um, the actual union fitting or the uh, the banjo fitting for it uh, was having issues threading in so I had to take stuff apart on that end and go through and actually retap it um, got everything blown out got them power bled uh, they're all working great the car stops great um, I got the wheels on it and swift springs and everything are on there so I set the car down and I got to show you something because it's pretty funny um, 
without changing ride height at all and just changing spring rates. Look at how fucking bad this wheel cap looks. Oh my God, what is that? So, I got three fingers. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna bring this in now. I'm going to uh, raise it up, take the wheels off and then actually get it where it's sitting proper. Um, so I need like three inches off the front and I need like two inches off the back right now. But uh, aside from that, everything else looks really good. I really like this color combo. I really like how these wheels look. Um, car rides so much better. Like uh, I thought it handled great before, but upgrading to the Swift Springs with the 12K fronts and the uh, 10K rears really made a huge difference, even at this height. But uh, yeah, everything feels great. The brakes stop stupid good. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it, but it just looks so stupid right now. That's all I got for you this time. If you guys been watching, I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Later.